Hi Leo, welcome to your April reading. This is for Leo, Summer Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look into the month ahead, see what you guys could be currently dealing with, what you can expect, get some insight, wisdom, guidance overall, see what's going on for Leo, Summer Rising Venus in April 2022. What are the messages for it? For Leo, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> messages for Leo. In April, we have Mirror, messages for Leo. In April 2022, Priestess, and give me one more, thank you. The Age of Light. So Mirror, who or what is triggering you? In the month of April, you may notice that there are people in your life, situations, things that come up kind of trigger you to feel some type of way or um, things that maybe you haven't fully healed yet or even just like your own behavior being mirrored back to you. So if that's the case, take a look at yourself. See if there's a little bit of adjustments or some work that needs to be done, some releasing, some healing that needs to take place. You're getting triggered for a reason. You may also be dealing with someone who's mirroring you or like you and this person may share a lot of similarities. So that's quite interesting. We'll see how that plays out when we pull more cards. We also have Priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So you may be taking on some sort of leadership role or more responsibility this month. And you may feel like there's a little bit more pressure or a little bit of just like higher expectations. Maybe it's just your own expectations that are pretty high. Um, so yeah, how are you being how are you being called to step up and lead? You're being asked to like take on some sort of leadership energy or yeah, something about having more responsibility is coming up. And then we have the age of light, which says you have been training. You've been training for this for a lifetime. You've been training for this for a lifetime. That sounded so weird for a second. So this is something that you've been working towards or just like even on a soul level, you may you may be fearful. You may feel like, oh, what if I can't do it? What if I'm not able? What if I'm not skilled enough? No, like you have been training for this. Whatever comes up in April, it is nothing you can't handle. Um, you're being triggered to grow. You're being triggered to expand. And this is happening for you. And it's actually going to be really positive. So trust your intuition as well. You're on the right track. I just am noticing in these two cards, there's like this kind of triangular shape going on here. And since we are in Aries season, um, Aries, you know, trines Leo because y'all are both fire elements. So it's actually going to be a really positive time for you guys. I think it's going to be a really strong, powerful month for you and should be pretty good. Great for manifesting. Just want to say that. Let me pull a couple animal cards to go along with this. You could be training others or like teaching others something. Um, like let's just say in your workplace, maybe you have a higher responsibility or like you're training new workers, um, showing people the ropes, that kind of energy. So be patient with others messages for leo for the month of april 2022 what's going on for leo in april show me clearly what are the messages for leo in april 2022 messages for leo summarizing venus we have the rabbit so there's those fears like what if i can't do it what if i'm not good enough oh what if this what if that like really just feeling restless in your head kind of stressed out feeling a bit triggered feeling a little afraid so who or what is triggering you? Why are you feeling this way? Why do you feel afraid? Well, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of failure. I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of falling. I'm afraid of making a mistake. I'm afraid of making regrets or whatever the fuck. Just like identify like why are you being triggered? First get to the why and then like sit with it. Let's see what else needs to come out for Leo for April 2022. Messages for Leo, summarizing Venus for the month of April 2022. What's going on for Leo in April 2022? We got the wolf. Oh my goodness! 
wow, this is all about leadership. And you know what? When I was shuffling this deck, I wanted to say I wouldn't be surprised if the wolf comes out just because I was talking about leadership and how you could be training others and to have patience. That's why I mentioned patience because I thought of this card and this card is all about leadership, but how important it is to have patience for others because let's just say that, yeah, you are training other people or you are helping other people or you're teaching people. Um, some people aren't going to be on the same page as you. They haven't gone through the same experiences as you. So when you try to explain something to them, they may not understand or they may just not have the same like the same perception as yours. And it doesn't mean that you're wrong or they're wrong or you're right. They're wrong. You're, they're right. You're wrong. Like, no, it's just like, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that shit. It's like it's faded. But um, remember to have patience with others. Let me get one more card and then we'll... We'll talk a little bit more. But we have two Earth cards coming out and then the Unicorn. Wow! Spirit energy coming out. So remember to stay grounded. Remember to stay present. Um, definitely a lot of questioning about, like, your purpose and why are you here. And, like, really just asking some deep, soulful questions, okay? Um, stay true to you. Stay true to your uniqueness. Don't dim your light or shrink yourself to fit in you are one of a kind you are beautiful so stand strong stand bright and don't water yourself down um yeah let people judge you oh you're different oh look at this unicorn what a weirdo like who gives a fuck what people think you know so definitely working through your fears of other people's judgments or other people's like perception of you because other people's opinions on you are also a reflection of themselves. And so if people get um, judgy. Like, let's just say that you are learning to... I don't know. This is, like, superficial as fuck. But, like, just first thing that came to mind. It's like you're learning to really embrace your own fashion sense, right? And maybe you are wearing these crazy, ridiculous colors that you never would wear because you're af afraid of other people judging you. And we're like, look at what Leo's wearing. Like... <laughs> But you're like learning like fuck it. This is how I want to express myself whether people love it or hate it I don't care because this is what makes me feel good point blank, right? So learning to really just like embrace yourself and embracing your authenticity whether people love you for it or hate you for it You can't please everybody and you're realizing that so you are going to stay true to you and the right people who are on the same wavelength You will attract them by being yourself instead of trying to be pretend to be something that you're not because where is that going to get you attracting people who don't actually love you for you loving you for someone who you aren't like no 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 <laughs> that doesn't seem right so yeah april is definitely challenging you to really stay true to you okay and as you're doing that you are really taking up this leadership energy you're inspiring others you're inspiring yourself and it's like this beautiful ripple effect the wolf is also someone who's very organized so maybe organization is highlighted this month maybe it's important you get very organized leo go through some shit throw some things out especially like files file paperwork that's just coming to mind just got the imagery of that or like just sorting through boxes i don't know like donate piles and trash bin piles or keep piles things like that maybe you have to do some of that do a little bit of that spring cleaning um and again, just like more responsibility, higher learning, higher lessons, as well as teaching others. So there's like the teaching and student energy. So you being a teacher and teaching people in your life, as well as vice versa, you being a student and people in your life teaching you things. So just a little bit of that energy coming up. Don't be afraid, all right? Be open, be receptive. There could be some fears or like, oh, I don't want to mess up. Or I don't want to look like an idiot. I don't want to look stupid. I want to be judged. Um... No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. Mistakes don't have to define us. They can help us learn and grow. And again, it's just triggering us to become better. So cool energy. I like the vibe. Aries, Aries season seems to be popping. <laughs> Let's pull some tarot messages. Let's see what else is going on. What are the messages for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Aries. Not Aries. I want to say April. You could be dealing with an Aries. You may have Aries placements in your chart. I just did Aries reads, so that could be why I'm saying Aries. But all right. Um, messages for Leo in April 2022. What's going on for my Leos in April? Show me clearly. 
messages for Leo, Summer Rising, Venus in April 2022. Messages for Leo, Summer Rising, Venus in April 2022. What's going on for Leo? What do they need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance? So we're just going to like let the cards speak for themselves like that. <laughs> wow. Okay. We have the sun and the king of pentacles. Hell yeah. There's your energy coming through with the sun, Leo. And then we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, strongly Taurus. So with the king of pentacles, so you guys feeling really confident, feeling really independent, feeling very grounded, just certain with what it is that you want. You're going to go get it. Whatever you set your mind to, you're going to go accomplish it. You're feeling just on top of the world, on top of your shit. It feels really inspiring. It feels very positive, very hopeful. I like that a lot. Let's see what else needs to come out. Oh, let's see what else needs to come out. Very fun, childlike energy too. But again, also taking on responsibility. Um, there. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Okay. The chariot and uh, temperance. So we have three major arcana coming out. We have Cancerian energy and Sagittarius energy. Look at that confidence. Look at that movement. There's such a balance. I love this energy that you're in. And like that's the thing. You may have these fears and these doubts and these worries and concerns, Leo. But I feel like that's just all internally. Like the way you're being perceived this month, you look on top of your shit. You look like you got your shit together. You look like you know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> which is so funny. That's the energy of the wolf. It's like you know what you're doing. They look um, like the most organized, the perfect like person but on the inside you are your worst critic you're like oh my god what do they think about me i don't want to say the wrong thing oh my god i said the wrong thing or i stuttered or I, whatever right in your head you see yourself as like the rabbit but everyone sees you as the wolf and that's funny because wolves eat rabbits right in the wild like <laughs> they literally be chasing bunnies and shit um so that's so funny it's like you're being perceived as a wolf but you see yourself as the rabbit that's funny all right, other messages for Leo, Summer Rising Venus. We have the King of Swords coming out sideways. So I'm going to take it upside just because it feels more fitting. Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Messages for Leo in April 2022. Moon reversed. Oh, wow. Okay, let me talk about this for a second. So we have Pisces energy. Well, again, more major arcana. At more major with the wheel. Oops, I didn't mean to throw it. With the wheel of fortune and the moon. So we have five major arcana out already. Aquarius energy as well. Um, Leo, it does look like you're getting clarity on a situation here with the moon reverse. Something is, and with the sun, right? So you're seeing the reality of a situation. And it looks like you're making the decision to no longer work on this or you've been like uh reevaluating like a situation or a relationship or an environment you've been reevaluating something if it's working or if there needs to be some sort of change or adjustment or if you just need to completely like let something go and with the king of swords coming out to the seven of pentacles reverse it's like you need to be honest and logical about this We'll clarify what this is, but with the world, or sorry, the wheel, no, this is the wheel, <laughs> not the world. With the wheel being reversed, it's like there's some sort of pause or delay or standstill or something's coming to like just a complete stop. But that's, that's because of your decision or because of your action, like you're putting an end to something. So we'll definitely look into that as well. You're putting an end to something. So we'll look into that, um, but not yet. Let's pull some more messages for Leo in April 2022. Other messages for Leo in April 2022. What's going on for my Leo? What do you need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Leo in April? What do they need to know? Show me clearly. Messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, we have... Oh, wow. There we go. The world. All right. That's the sixth major arcana. So April. Oh, my God. The devil reverse seventh major arcana <laughs> and the seven of cups. Give me one more. And Prince of Pentacles. All right. Ten of cups reversed. 
Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, we Eight of Wands. All right. So let me talk about this. So you know what? This is probably tying into what it is that you're no longer investing in. Similar message that came through for Aries, but they had other messages that are not in this reading. But if you have any Aries placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, I don't give a fuck. You may want to listen to their reading. You might find it insightful. Um, so you making the conscious decision to no longer invest in a situation, a relationship, a situation over here, it, like you're, you gotten some sort of clarity to put an end to something. And as you got the clarity to put an end to something, or once you removed yourself from a situation, you just feel like this sun chariot temperance feeling confident feeling balanced feeling in control feeling at peace feeling just certain within yourself once you kind of put an end to whatever this is you'll be in this energy which we'll get to okay we'll talk about that at the end let's talk about this shit okay so it looks like whatever you're removing yourself from caused you a lot of negativity in your life it was very draining it had you almost like clouded or like you weren't able to really like when you were in the thick of it you couldn't see anything else it was on your mind you felt attached to something or someone and it was just like draining every ounce of energy out of you like if this was a relationship or if this was like a person that you were stuck on trying to get clarity, trying to get answers, trying to get closure. Um, it really took away from everything else that, that was going on in your life because you couldn't focus on any other thing except this situation or this person. Right. You are so focused on what had happened in the past or what this person had said to you or what you didn't know you are overlooking all the other things going on in your life, your friendships and your your career, or your family or whatever that was going on in your own personal life. You're you were distracted. You were focused on something completely irrelevant and it was not even good for you. It wasn't like it was helping you grow or making you feel better or any it was keeping you stuck. It was keeping you in like this low vibrational state, um anxious, worried, afraid really critical of yourself that kind of energy it kept you in this low energy anyways april you are taking baby steps page or sorry not page prince of pentacles slowly but surely breaking away from some sort of negative energy in your life or negative person or situation and you're calling it quits or you're just like a cycle is closing out or a door, a chapter of your life is reaching completion. For some, this could have been related to home or family with the Ten of Cups reversed. Again, like whatever the situation was for you, Leo, it made you miserable. It made you just feel like absolute garbage. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. But looking back at this situation, if this is like, again, relationship energy, because we do have quite a bit of cups. And then the Six of Cups with this card, it's like looking back at the past situation. Look at how the person in the distance, oh, wrong card, person in the distance, like that's you currently looking back at your younger self or yourself a month ago, six months ago, a year ago, 10 years ago, 100 years ago. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, but now you, you see the opportunity. You see something you didn't understand before. You didn't quite get it. See, maybe this is relating to what you are being triggered or what is triggering you. Oh my God, I feel like my words are all messed up. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, that's reaching completion here. So we'll definitely look into that. So again, that's that's tying into this moon reverse, the wheel of fortune reverse, the seven pentacles reverse, and the king of swords. It's like you're really just taking your blade, you're you're cutting something out of your life, like you are like um tying up any loose ends, anything that was kind of lingering or swept under the carpet. You're just you're pulling it out, you're looking at it, you're throwing it out for good. Like nothing left there uh -huh. all right so let's do a little clarifying i'm gonna set this to the side i'll set that here 
I'll use this deck to clarify. And then we'll look into the good stuff. This new and improved, feeling stronger, feeling confident, feeling just way better off, more at peace. I love that for you. But like real quick, let's take a look into this devil reverse and then we'll take a look into the world. Okay. Devil reverse. Talk about the devil reverse for Leo, Summer and Isaac Venus in April 2022. You see the truth about a situation. You see the truth about a person, situation. Or even about yourself that maybe you had a hard time accepting in the past. Probably the devil reverse. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, six of cups with the five of pentacles. Let me see which side is the five of pentacles. This side. Okay. So for some, this is about a relationship. Which we just, we just had that Six of Cups at the bottom of the other deck that we just used, the Illuminati deck. And I was saying, like, you could be looking back at a past connection, whether it was recent or a while back, and just completely seeing things differently. Uh, and again, that energy coming through. And this is clarifying the devil reverse. So for some, it's like you could have been waiting on, like, an explanation or a closure or an apology or, like, some sort of communication from a person sticking around waiting around but now you're realizing like fuck this like the closure was the moment they disrespected you so like fuck that you know <laughs> like, let, let, let me pull some more cards but like that's the first thing that just kind of comes to mind how about the devil reverse for leo in april 2022 we also have the four of swords so yeah lots of healing taking place after the damage that's been done, Ace of Pentacles, and give me a couple more, one more for the Devil, Reverse, Hierophant. Oh, didn't mean to flip that. Anything else for the Devil, Five of Wands. Yeah, there was just like a lot of destruction, <sighs> lack of peace. It was just chaotic. It was stressful. It was overwhelming. We have two fives out here. This is clarifying this Devil energy. So it like, this Devil threw you upside down, you know? put you through the ringer and as you're looking back at those past times those past memories like oh my god i can't believe i fucking allowed myself to go through that can't believe i tolerated that shit for so long right as you're focusing on like healing and calming and just like getting back centered within yourself um you are becoming aware of like the damage that was done and how much more healing still needs to take place. And there can still be some of that restless energy. Or there is that restless energy. Which we have that with the rabbit. Right? So there is still a little bit of that anxious in your head. Feeling a little, you know, still knowing like, okay, there's still some work I gotta take care of. There's still some things I gotta take care of, release, work through. But take your time. Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles opportunity for you to learn to grow and evolve as a person spiritually um we have taurus energy by the way i don't know if i mentioned that capricorn energy did i mention that i don't think i did but you're leveling up as you are doing the work and as you're confronting this devil you really are stepping up and feeling just again this is leading towards the sun chariot temperance energy of just feeling more at peace feeling more healed feeling more grounded and connected towards yourself feeling like you know yourself better than you ever did and um reaching acceptance for the things that just didn't work for you or the things that happened to you obviously you didn't deserve it but you have a choice as to how to handle this moving forward and you don't have to hold on to this or use this as like a crutch of like this is how i am this is how i'm always going to be it's like no i love it oh wow top of the deck we have the strength card backside it's like confronting this this demon this devil this negativity this situation like facing it head on instead of trying to run away from it um yeah running away is never the answer <laughs> it always comes back to bite Eventually, you're going to have to stop, catch your breath, and then that thing that you're running away from, whether it's a, an emotion, a situation, a person, it, it, it's going to be there. You're going to have to deal with it. So you're dealing with it head on instead of trying to like pretend it never happened. So I like that for you. All right. Let's take a look into the sun, the chariot, temperance, like this kind of energy. Like this is moving away from whatever is coming to an end or whatever it is that you got clarity on, whatever it is that you're putting a full stop on. This is what you can expect moving forward. This is what you're going to be changing your focus on. 
So let's take a look into this energy. Temperance, the sun, the chariot for Leo, and even the king of pentacles. Again, feeling just more grounded within yourself, more in control, more at peace, more grounded, more certain within yourself. Confidence skyrocketing. Temperance, the sun, the chariot. Can you tell me about this energy for Leo? Temperance, the sun, the chariot for Leo. Summarizing Venus in the month of April 2022. Temperance, the sun, and the chariot for Leo. Temperance, the sun, three of pentacles. Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords. Six of Swords at the bottom. Movement. Yeah. Moving from what? Moving from this ending. Moving from the betrayal, the shit that you went through. Leaving that in the past. Leveling up. Three of Pentacles. Working on yourself. Healing from those situations. Learning from those situations and growing. And just like, um, again, bettering yourself. You know, finding new connections, new people new friendships new relationships that uplift and support you um learning to trust again some of you could be going back to school or like taking up like new skills or trades or new information that will help further you on your journey and this could be relating to like creative endeavors or things that you're really passionate about so maybe step out of side outside of your comfort zone Eight of Wands with the, the Queen of Wands. Just feeling really confident within yourself, feeling self-assured. And again, the Four of Wands. I'm seeing like there's changes in your partnerships and relationships, friendships. Um, not necessarily romance, but I do see in like friendships or even in your in your work or your career making new um fuck, what's the word? I don't know. Just making new connections with people who are in alignment with you, who understand you, who get you, who you just click with. Maybe in the past you felt like that wasn't possible or you felt like you were never going to find your people or that you were always going to be alone. But like you're noticing how that's so that's so not true. Yeah, it just that feels really nice. That feels really good. Um underneath the six of swords you have the three of swords and the sun your energy coming through so healing from that heartbreak that betrayal that ending or endings because it could be multiple <sighs> hair in my mouth um moving away from that and also learning to let down your walls let down your guard because again not everybody's out to get you not everybody's going to screw you over like this this person has you've learned your lessons you know better now you'll be paying attention to your intuition you'll be paying attention to the lessons you'll apply that wisdom that you gained from these these losses that you went through those were lessons you know better now you will never repeat that ever again safe to say that and moving forward you just feel much more in alignment with yourself feeling much more confident better stronger um yeah just feeling way more at peace and finding that balance. Because remember, I was saying earlier, if we have it, maybe, was it your reading I said that to? Or who did I say that to? Maybe it wasn't your reading. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I said that in Aries reading because I was telling them, I think it must have been them because the, we had the two of pentacles, but I guess it wasn't in your reading. Never mind. <laughs> but remember to stay balanced, stay grounded, okay? Especially since we had double earth coming out with the animal cards so remember to stay grounded root yourself take some deep breaths calm the mind also connect more with like your spirituality your intuition like maybe meditate more that's the message coming through or finding some sort of like activity that you find meditative like whether that's working out gardening going for a walk drawing reading i don't care what it is it could be listening to music um but finding something that kind of allows you to shut off your brain and just like connect to your soul you know throughout all that chaos all the crazy shit going on in this world fuck 
we all could use a break, <laughs> a little mental holiday, you know? So just like finding something that kind of takes you away from, you know, all the crazy shit in your own personal life and in this crazy ass world and like just reconnecting to your own safe, sacred space. That will also bring you a lot of peace, a lot of calmness, a lot of clarity. Just reground, recenter yourself, replenish that empty cup, keep it refilled constantly. <sighs> yeah, you guys, we had a lot of major arcana show up in this reading. So May, May, not May, sorry, April, maybe even tying it to May, seems like it's a significant time for you. So just take it easy with yourself. Take it easy. Lots of things going on. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading here. I hope you found this helpful and insightful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot. You can find me over there and I will let you go. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.